Hi, my name is Bob Darling, Lieutenant Colonel, United States Marine Corps, retired, and this is my 9-11 story. I was an active duty Marine Corps officer. I was assigned to the White House Military Office in the Airlift Operations Department. Our job in Airlift Operations is to support the President of the United States logistically. Wherever our President goes, he needs limousines, snipers, doctors, helicopters, phones, secret service, as you can imagine. And because we can't outrun Air Force One, we have to pre-position all that equipment in advance of Air Force One. On 9-11, September 11, 2001, I was the airlift operations officer in charge of President Bush, his trip to Sarasota, Florida. He was at the Emma E. Booker Elementary School promoting his academic agenda when everything changed forever. So one of the things that affected me most about 9-11 was the resiliency of the American public. It wasn't a great day for American military, but reports were coming in that ordinary Americans were fighting back on United Flight 93. They were going into the burning towers or into the burning Pentagon to save lives of complete strangers. We all love freedom, we all love democracy, and we're willing to save the life of a complete stranger to preserve it. It's all about resiliency. It's all about planning and exercising and knowledge. And now I'm dedicated to it because of those heroes, those ordinary Americans who did extraordinary things to save each other that day.